Hi, I'm Paweł Smychalski and first of all I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters. If you are not one of them, please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. And now, and now today let's continue with the INAV and the rover support. When INAV 2.5 allowed finally to configure rover, rovers and boats, you know, ground vehicles, boats and all that kind of driving or uh, floating uh, vehicles to be supported, including the functionality like, for example, return to home. There were always some question on how exactly to set up enough in case of a tank or other tracked vehicle that uses the differential steering to well to go where it wants to go and this was a, actually a pretty good question because by default the INAF mixer the motor mixer is not really 100% configured to be used as a mixer for basically tracked vehicles why because it requires throttle input to be able to spin one side of the vehicle faster or slower. And this means that you basically with the motor mixer cannot turn in place. The tank has to be moving forward to be able to turn. And this is really like one of the, the, the ability to turn in place is one of the biggest uh, pros of the all the tanks and truck vehicles luckily with the help of some of the logic conditions and global variables and the programming framework inside of the INAV it is possible to set up your own really 100% your mixer implemented in the logic conditions that will allow both driving steering and turning in place so today today I will show you exactly how to do it and then it's only up to you to do it if you really want to. Let's begin with the basic and with resetting the setting of the flight controller. Actually, this in this case, it will be drive controller. And after disconnecting and connecting again to the flight controller, let's choose rovers and boats. Then after the reboot is completed, let's go to the output tab and enable the reversible motor support. This is required for INAV to understand that, well, basically it has to uh, use reversible motors and as uh, also the motor stop and of course let's enable the motor outputs. Let's save, reboot and go to the next tab. The next step is to go to the programming tab, which allows us to use the programming framework. Bear in mind, I'm showing you this thing based on the INAF 2.6. However, the, it will look, the, the procedure of setting this up with INAF 2.5 will look almost exactly the same. First of all, we have to enable two logic conditions to be sure, that, to know if the flight controller or drive controller is armed or not. So the first condition will be to check if armed and let's is armed equals one because we would like to know if we are armed and the second condition will be a not condition that will be active when the first condition is not met. So we have the information if the flight controller is armed or not armed. In the next step, we have to map the default throttle value, which varies between 1000 and 2000 microseconds, to something that mixer can use in the side if you are going forward and backward. This, this is why we should use the sub uh, logic condition, well, basically it's just subtraction. And as the input uh, for this logic condition, let's use throttle RC channel 4, which is the throttle by default, and let's subtract 1500 for it. Now, when I will save uh, and I will start moving my uh, throttle in the radio, you will notice that when the throttle is basically somewhere in the middle position, then the value of this is around zero. And when I move it forward, it goes to around 500. And when I pull the throttle down, it goes as little as minus 500. This will be the value of our throttle that will be fed to the mixer we will set up in the next step. The next step is to give the mixer the possibility 
to read our map throttle. We will use the global variable to pass the value of the logic condition 2 to the mixer. To do it, we should use the logic condition called GVAR set, which will copy the value of operand B to the logic condition index mentioned in the operand A. So the operand A will stay as value 0, which will point us to the log uh, global variable 0. And in the operand B, let's choose logic condition 2, enable, save. And now, as you can see over here, the global variable 0 holds the value of the logic condition 2. The next step is to set up our mixer, finally to set up mixer. So let's go to the mixer page. Uh, it's already on the platform configuration rover and the mixer preset rover. And bear in mind, we will not be using motor mixer at all. We will only be using the servo mixer. And what we have to do is we have to basically emulate the armed and disarmed state. We'll be using two servos, servo 0 and servo 1, as the servo 0 will be the left servo or a motor for the tracked vehicle and the one will be the right one. Next, in case of the disarmed, we should set the value of the output of the servo to the value that, well, basically is the mid position for the ESC that says that the motor should not be spinning. Usually, uh, the value of uh, the length of the PWM pulse is around 1460, which can be emulated by the input type max with the weight of around minus one. Let's do the same for the other servo like this also minus eight on the fixed value and those two conditions for the mixer will be enabled when the logic condition one evaluates as true this means that we are interested in putting this value of the outputs only if the logic condition one not armed is true now, let's quickly save, reboot and go to the setup in case where the rover, the tank, is armed and we should have both throttle and your control. The step one will be to mix the throttle into our servos. For, so, for both servo 0 and for servo 1, we will use input global variable 0 to pass the throttle value to this output and in both cases it will be active when the logic condition zero evaluates as true remember that logic condition evaluates as true when the rover is armed the next step well basically now we will mix the your control into the outputs to do it just like on any other uh, drone or not tracked uh, vehicle, we will just use the stabilized throttle input for those servo rules. No, stabilized, not throttle. Oh, Pavel, come on. We will use stabilized yo with one of them mixed with the negative weight so that one track will spin up and the second track will slow down when we are turning and of course and let's set that those conditions evaluate true when the logic condition is true which means that the rover is armed and now now the only thing that we basically have to do is we have to save reboot and go to the output channel output tab to check if this is working like expected and now, when we will go to the output stop, you will notice that the both servo output 0 and 1, when one is left track and the second is right track, both go into 1460 value, which is the default value for most of the rever reversible ESCs, when, well, basically the motor should be stopped. And now, Look what will happen, and when I move the throttle and I control the yaw, nothing is happening because the vehicle is disarmed. Now, let me arm, uh, I will have to put it in the mid position and flip the switch. And now, now look what's happening. When I move the throttle high, both servos, both outputs put the 
higher value on the output, so it means that it will be going forward or backward. And when I use the yaw control, yaw stick, um, one servo spins up and the second servo spins down. And this is happening even with the throttle in the mid position when we are not applying any movement forward or backward. Our goal is 100% accomplished because we have the possibility to turn our tank without applying any throttle. Now, the last thing is to figure out if the tank is turning in the correct direction. If it's turning in the wrong direction, that means we have to go into the mixer tab one more time and replace the weights for the stabilist your rule. So instead 100 minus 100, we will just use minus 100, 100, save, reboot and recheck. And now let's make a quick check one more time while still this is armed and the rotation direction of both of the outputs of both of the tracks has changed we are doing exactly what we wanted to do that's the end of this tutorial thank you very much for watching and i hope if you ever wondered how to set up INAV on your tracked vehicle like a tank this is the answer bear in mind this does not really apply to differential control on the flying vehicles like the airplane with two motors on the wing in such a case the standard mixer with the differential control standard motor mixer is fully capable of doing what we want to do because then the motor has to be in the forward movement to be able to turn and we do not have to use this kind of fancy and interesting usage of the INAF programming framework at all that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.